Right, so today we're talking about a YouTuber who has released some products that seemingly are, are a bit of a scam. Now, that sentence in itself isn't much of a shock. We have spoke about a lot of influencers who have done stuff like that. But this one is just incredibly confusing to me because it's about this YouTuber right here called HRH Collection, who I'm pretty sure is like a rage bait content creator. And I think... She's doing like this weird character where she says like the most offensive shit possible. And people love her, by the way. I search her name on TikTok and there are like fan edits made about her. I don't compete with the average person. I'm smarter and better than you. You know that. I'm, I'm 39, but I don't look it. I beat you in every category. Why would I ever give a fuck what you think of me? That's the truth. Okay, so. Okay, right. You get the point, right? She's bigging herself up and people have posted this being like, oh yeah, me too. Uh, let's all big ourselves up. I mean, if we look at the comments of this video, I've got ones like, she is the blueprint. So iconic. But yeah, I mean, overall, that first video is just bigging herself up. Okay, fair enough. But then there's other ones where she's just like calling people ugly and people love that apparently you're honestly so ugly you are so ugly i'm a thousand percent sure haven't i told you don't come for me don't come for me unless unless what are the rules again bitch we know the rules side profile full body shot tax returns bank statements okay right we get the point right she's just going on a bit of a rant and again people love her like if we look at the comment section people said my inner monologue we've got other ones saying she's unhinged and i'm here for it and again another one saying she's so real for that but the problem is i have came across a couple of videos where she is saying some of the most like diabolical shit you could possibly say and at this point we're not even onto the whole scam thing right we'll get into that in a second and i did come across this video on her youtube page and again i think I'm, I'm ho I don't know if I am hoping or not. I was going to say I'm hoping that this isn't her true feelings and this is a character she's playing. But if this is a character she's playing, it's very worrying that this is the character she has decided to play. Because, I mean, just listen to what she says here. I went back and I got this. And I just have to ask you a question. Like, I feel really bad bringing this up. But it's really depressing. And, like, I hate it. I, I really wanted this for, like, a couple days ago. But, like, I didn't want to go back to the mall because, um... Okay, I don't want to be rude because I'm not being rude. I'm just actually asking a question. Uh, yeah, most of the time when people say that, they're about to be very rude, and this one is no different. There's so many, like, like developmentally disabled people. Like, not even, like, kids. There's, like, groups of, like, like developmentally disabled, like, physically. You know, more like developmentally disabled, disabled people in, like, groups walking around the mall. Okay, I'm sorry, like... Whoa, 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 how was that the explanation? She just said that as if we were supposed to be sat here being like, oh yeah, that is a big problem, I understand what you're saying. But all she says was that she went to the mall and she saw some people that were disabled in the mall. Like, what is the problem here? I mean, don't worry, she's about to explain even further. And again, this is why I'm so confused that she has such a crazy amount of support. I don't get it. No offense, I'm sorry, this is not a public space. Like, this what? mall is already so depressing as is. And then you have to like, then I have to like see like tragedy. Do you know what I mean? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, a few things. You just said this isn't a public place. I mean, it definitely is a mall. I mean, does a place get any more public? It's a fucking shopping mall. And then she goes on to say stuff like, oh, why do I have to see tragedy when I go to the mall? I'm so confused why she gets so much support. And again, the way she's saying this, I, I assume this is a character, right? Because... How does any normal human think like this? But what a weird fucking character to give yourself. You're still putting out opinions like this, and the people who are going to support your videos probably have very similar opinions, which is incredibly worrying. Why would you want an audience like that? I mean, yeah, this video is just beyond disgusting, to say the least. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, okay, I know you're going to be like, Alex, no. Get the fuck off of my page. I'm not kidding. I don't need you to be like, you're rude or you're... you're, you're I, no. Fuck you, okay? This is an actual... Like, and don't tell me, you fucking lying bitch, that you don't feel that too, okay? She's a, a very angry individual, to say the least. And they're not in there eating lunch. They're not, they're walking around. You know how old people do that? I feel like I've heard this, where old people, they like to peruse around the mall to get, like, watches to walk, okay? Because it's air conditioned and things like that. Okay, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I don't care, okay? I feel like I don't like that. This is not a public space for you to peruse. It quite literally is a public place where people can walk about wherever they want. I mean, if it really bothers you that badly, just stay at home, maybe. Don't go to a public place. But she says that it's incredibly sad to see these people walking around the mall, so I'm assuming what she thinks would be a better alternative here is that they aren't allowed to go to public places. Is that not sadder? 
in your eyes, no. I mean, again, I keep going back to this, but I, I struggle to believe that this is genuinely her honest opinions. If they are, I'm extremely worried for her because that is, that that just doesn't even compute in my head. But again, if this isn't her personal opinions and she is just playing his character, again, I'm very worried for her because why? It, it's like, after, okay, it's like an adult adult groups of like developmentally disabled people. Okay, so let's call them disabled. But they're not like physically disabled. They're just like, you know, do you understand? You know what I mean? Okay, like bagger vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like bagger boys, things like that. Stop. So, um, you guys, like, I don't like to, like, I don't, okay. God, she is incredibly stressed out about this situation. I'm really struggling to understand why. I think maybe you should try and, like, look at yourself in the mirror a bit and think, like, why am I so stressed about stuff that doesn't need to stress me out in the single slayers? You're incredibly bothered about people just living their lives, and that is very concerning. I think it's, like, publicly funded. No, it's either publicly or privately funded, like, these after school or adult, it's, like, adult groups, right? Where either this is not run by the state or it's run privately. I don't know what it is. You don't know much by the looks of it. I've got to be honest. But yeah, you get the point, right? It's just a grim video and she has like this like cult following, it seems like, which again, <laughs> very worrying. But recently, HRH Collection, I'm not sure what her real name is, but let's just call her H. That'll do, yeah, it'll do that. But Hitch has somewhat recently started releasing her own jewelry, which she claims that she is handmade. And I think you can probably tell by the way I'm saying this, it's uh, not handmade. And they're all handmade by me with really amazing materials. And look at this heart. These are vintage Swarovski. They are so pretty. <laughs> Fucking hell, that actually scared the life out of me, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why did you have to put such a fucking loud sound effect on that? But okay, right, let's get back to this. I mean, yeah, as I was just rudely interrupted, we can see that the product that she is claiming that she handmade is actually only 55 cents. And now this is a big part of this whole problem, right? I mean, there's literally a whole page going to every piece of jewelry that she has claimed that she's handmade and sure that she hasn't. It's called HRH Collection Tings. And yeah, like I said, I mean, if we just scroll down, it's just her showing off like the products that she's made and then them showing that it, she hasn't. And she's just buying them off like Alibaba for like ridiculously cheap and claiming that she's handmade them. So she's almost like drop shipping, which is like something that a lot of people do or whatever, right? But then just straight up lying and saying that she's made them herself. And if we go over to her website, the prices that she has put these products up for are ridiculous. I mean, if we just go to necklaces here, we've got 71 quid, 70 quid, 64 quid, 64 quid again, 59, 110 pounds for this necklace right here. But yeah, I mean, if we just look at some of the TikTok videos on this like HRH Collection Tings account, let's just look at the price differences here, okay? So this one is... 259. But then if we look at her website, she's selling them for $125. Like it is just a straight up scam. And I already know there's gonna be people coming to this video saying, ah, oh, drop shipping's not a scam. But it is, she's claiming that she handmade them and just lying about the materials and everything else. Like that is a straight up scam. And people must be buying them because she's had this shop up and running for a little while now. Like it must be working. I mean, here we have another one of this like robot necklace, which is $1.80 to buy, but she's selling there for pretty much $70. Another one here, uh, I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be, but it's $6 to buy of Etsy and she's selling it for $92. And again, I mean, we can go on forever. There are so many videos on this page, but enough one, right? $3.50 pretty much, $85 on her website. And again, the big problem is here is that she's just lying and saying that she's handmade them herself. I don't even know how she would possibly hand make these stuff. I mean, she she hasn't showed that she has like a warehouse like making these products or anything. So I don't get it. But that's what she claims. She's claiming that she's handmade them without showing any like equipment to hand make them or anything or the process of hand making this stuff. And she's just scamming people. And again, she has a really cult following of people who follow her. And I, again, don't understand why. Not even just because of the opinions at this point, but also because she's blatantly scamming you. And now I have came across some videos where, again, I'm thinking she's definitely playing a character here because she's saying stuff that's incredibly ironic and stupid. Like this one right here, where she talks about the fact that people are saying that she hasn't made the products. You know, I'm really sick of like the rumors about like me not making the jewelry. Like I'm actually sick and tired of it. Like anyone OG knows knows the fuck. Like honestly, it's not even, like it's something that makes me so mad because it's not true and people love to like spread lies because they love to discredit me since day one since day one like people have loved to discredit me because like no one can do what i do like everyone tries to do what i do and like you fail because it's just like you don't get it okay like you don't get it it's not like something you can, i don't want to talk about it it's something weird like just i just it makes me so mad that, about like about the lies they spread like that i don't make the jewelry it really fucking pisses me off everyone knows okay right we get the point right she's just ranting at this point but to me, that clearly suggests that she is playing a character and she's doing this like ironically. But again, 
it's such a weird character to play. Like, she is optionally choosing to be the character that says the most outrageous things ever. She fucking hates people who are disabled just for living their lives, and she wants to scam her viewers. And again, I'm sure people have bought these products, and they've been scammed at the end of the day. So the fact that she's playing a character isn't an excuse for that. You can't just scam people and be like, oh, it's all right, you know, I'm doing this ironically. According to this TikTok account, she also blocks anyone who, like, brings this up, so it seems like she is, like, trying to hide the proof that she's scamming people. So I don't really get it. I'm very confused by this person and the people who watch it. I, I just don't understand it. So if there's something I'm missing, I would love to hear in the comment section. But my first initial opinion, um, based on this person and the stuff that she's doing, is that it's just like disgusting behavior. I don't get it. And yeah, I mean, like I said, please tell me if I'm missing something. I would love to know, but <laughs> I just don't get it at all. And also what I will say is, I imagine there's probably gonna be some comments from people who are fans of her and being like, oh, you just don't understand it. Like this is her like character and you're just falling for the bait and whatnot and all this stuff, right? But I would love to ask, why does being a character give you the right to say stuff like that and like scam people? I, I, I need to understand that. Cause right now I think it's inexcusable, especially that video we watched at the beginning where she's talking about people at the mall. I. It, it's just grim. But yeah, either way, I'm going to leave the video there. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, all that stuff. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.